what's it been like uh, being back for you and being back playing and part of the team? Oh, it's been great. Um, I really can't even put words to it. Just being back on the court with my teammates and being able to be coached by Coach Alfred, it's a great feeling. What would you say is the main thing you learned from your first year here? Uh, patience, definitely. Um, I couldn't play, and um, there was a bunch of times where I didn't know what was going to happen. But you know, just being patient, and knowing it will eventually all work out, was what was really key for me. Who, who would you say helped you out the most through that whole process? A couple guys here. I mean, basically the whole staff was here with me, my teammates, basically everybody um, had a had a part in it, but. The most important part was my, my parents, my mom and my dad. They did an amazing job at, you know, keeping me calm and making sure that, you know, I don't worry and I don't try to, like, think too much, you know, so. What, what did they tell you? Like, what, what were kind of the most encouraging words for you? Um, just trust and believe in God and saying that, you know, eventually, you know, you're going to get over it. You know, it's going to pass and basically just, I don't know, just strong words of encouragement. How much did you improve your game in practice over that year when you couldn't play? I mean, was it, do you feel like you did kind of continue that upward trajectory? Yeah, tremendous amounts. Um, it was really key that I, that I got to stay and, um, you know, practice with the guys and help the guys get better that year. Tom and, you know, Gigi, post guys, Alex. Um, it was really, I, my game expanded a lot during those times, so yeah, I was really thankful. Did you ever think about transferring? No, not really. Uh, I knew that. I mean, I committed here like the end of my sophomore year, so I was UCLA from the jump. So I, I always been, I always will be. How much would you say you've matured just over the, through the whole process of your first year here? And would you say that's like the most, the biggest maturation year of your life? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I had to go through a lot of things and. Um, I, I'm actually glad I went through it. I learned to, uh, to learn a lot of different things during that time period. And yeah, it was a big, big change in my life. What was the reception like just walking around campus, like going to class? Did like, people stop and like, point at you or anything? Nah, nothing different. Um, I did get a couple more looks than I normally do, you know, for being 16. I get a <laughs> lot of looks, but uh, nothing, nothing unusual, so. What was, there, what was the reception from your teammates when you kind of Oh, uh, they was happy just to see me. You know, they're dorks and so so. Uh, when they finally get to um, see me, when they finally saw me, and they get to, you know, see me for every day it was amazing. You know, it was fun to reconnect and just laugh again. You know. What was it like to then actually get a chance to play in your first game? Oh. I was nervous. I was. Uh, it was like my first game in I think almost a year, and just getting used to just being in a game where it actually matters and was a, was a big change for me. And first college game, I was just really excited. What do you What do you guys have to do to break the press better than that last game, especially at the end of that game? Uh, slow down. We have to rep it more in practice. Uh, you know, it was, it was kind of going to be trouble just because it's the beginning of the season, but. You know, just slow down, make better passes, and just basketball stuff. Uh, you've only played a couple games but so far. I mean, has, how has the college game kind of stacked up to your expectations coming in? Uh, pretty same expectations that I had. It's going to be tough physical, uh, definitely more mental than high school. You have to think and play uh, more. But, you know, so far I'm, I'm getting back into it. So hopefully uh, next couple games, you know, I get better and the team gets better too. Uh, a lot of people think that the biggest jump for college players is between the freshman and sophomore years that summer. Do you feel like you did a lot of things that have, have improved your game? Um, yeah, uh, just starting in the spring, as soon as the season was over, um, I knew I wasn't going to test the waters or anything, so I got straight to the gym. Uh, I was working out with Coach Alford, uh, Coach Bartow as soon as he got here, um, and uh, Chris, me, Prince, we're all in the gym. Because uh, you can always make the biggest jump in college between uh, freshman and sophomore. So, yeah, I did everything I could to get better. What would you say you worked on the most? Mm. I worked on my shot because I had to improve. Uh, I worked on conditioning. 
uh, make sure that I could play longer if uh, I was put in there for longer. Um, worked on my defense because um, I've got to solidify myself as a defender, and I take pride on that side of the ball. And uh, I just worked on, I mean, pretty much every facet of the game. But uh, those were the top ones right there. In terms of your shot, what did you do to improve that? Was it a form thing or uh, just kind of repetition? No, it was really more just reps and getting my confidence back. Um, I don't know, last year uh, I was really just beating myself up every time I missed one. So um, I forced myself to lose confidence. So in the summer I just wrapped it up, saw it go in, and I uh, got the confidence back. Did you have like a number that you were hoping for every day? Like every number? day I pick X number of um, shots or something? Not really. Uh, just making sure that I saw it go through the net a lot. <laughs> yeah, the number would be a lot. Um, at the end of practice, oh, I make sure I make five in a row in all seven spots. Just to just so I can make sure it's consistent, because you can always make ten. But I mean, if you just try to make ten, you could end up missing ten as well. And it's not consistent. What do you guys have to do to uh, break the press better than the end of that game the other night? Uh, we just got to work on it more, you know. Uh, the other night it was just you know we we hadn't really worked on it much. So now in practice, you know, we just got to work on it more. Make sure uh, we're more confident, calm. Uh, when seeing it, because I mean, uh, we can do it, so we just gotta work on it. During the summers, uh, a lot of NBA players will come through UCLA and play at the Student Activity Center, like yeah. Russell Westbrook, James Harden. Did you ever get a chance to play with those guys in pickup games? Yeah, I played all of them. Yeah. Where did uh, you learn from that? How, how cool was that? Uh, it was more, they just beat up on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, they just taught me, uh, it made me understand the difference in the levels. There's more toughness. Um, I, I, I respect it a lot more. I already respected their game a lot, but now I do it a lot more just going up against them. And just uh, all of them are just like they're all dogs, you know. <laughs> they go at everybody, no matter if I'm in the college level and they're obviously above me. They went at me like I was, you know, somebody that was trying to take their paycheck. So it's just that mindset that they all have. I got to put that in my game. Do you talk in the smack? Talking smack. Do you talk smack? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Russ does a lot. It's all, it's, all, it's all love, though. So I know. Yeah, talk, Russ talks a lot of smack. Who all do you go up against? Who all? Yeah, uh, I run against uh, Russ, KD, Paul George. It's a lot of names. Uh, I can't really think of all of them. Those are the top three. Do they tell you when they're coming in, or you just show up and no, they're, they're I, there? No, I made sure playing. I showed up every time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if they were there, and I was there, too. When you went back and saw the film on the end of that last game, what was kind of the takeaways of what went wrong against the press that they threw at you? Um, one thing that I noticed was um, we, we weren't able to get the ball, um, inbound the ball, free throw line extended. We sort of got the ball in, in the coffin corner. So it was easier for the team to press and trap and then steal the second pass. So um, just, just being strong with the ball, not forcing anything, making the right plays, making the right passes. Um, and keeping your head up, you know, you have to be alert when pe when teams are trapping. Um, it's it's a, it's an aggressive style of defense, so you know people are flying around the court. So you just have to be aware of where everyone is on the court and just you know be assertive, but be careful and play strong. Now that that tapes out, do you expect teams to kind of keep doing that so you guys show you can can beat it? Yeah, I think so. But you know, we're we're a team who knows how to adjust, and um, you know we have a great coaching staff that you know. You know, takes pride in getting better. So, um, I think I think teams will try to try to press us, but I think we're going to handle it just fine because we have the ability and the talent to adjust and uh, do different things. What's the learning curve been for you on the defensive end since getting into college? I know you guys run a couple different defenses, not just man to man. The time you guys had some time, particularly against Long Beach State. Yeah. Like uh, well, I think my high school coach Colin Fav did a great job of preparing me. Um, you know, a lot of times in high school, defense isn't really, you know, sought after. Or people don't really take pride in it. But um, I think my co my high school coach did a good job of instilling that, you know, defense is important. And at the next level, um, you're we're going to see that. So um, it wasn't as big of a learning curve. But one thing I can take away is just being physical um, and being more quick on your feet, more light on your feet. Because, you know, guards guards in this in, in college are way, way quicker and way stronger. So... Just being stronger and quicker um, on your feet is what I took away.